Hi guys, welcome to our channel. This is Archie the Cockatiel and I am Stacy, Archie's mom. Yeah, are you excited? Today we are excited because we have an unboxing for Posh City Pets. Um, you can purchase their products on their Etsy shop. I'll have a, yeah, I'll have a link down below for the shop as well as the products that we got. Yeah, there's some stuff for you. Yeah. All right, so Posh City Pets has done some um, collaborating with Marlene Cohen for some of her AVMTs. So if you get the Feather Fun Box, you're already familiar with them. So I ordered some things off their shop and oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, is that funny? Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got in here. Are you excited? <laughs> I think he's very excited to see what he got. All right, let's see. You ready, buddy? All right, so we've got some pink tissue paper with a thank you on there as well as a sticker that says you've got great taste because of course we do. Tear this open. So right on top we've got a lovely note for the bacon block. Alright so the note says thank you for ordering and for your support. And there are some Valentine's goodies in here, including some foraging boxes, paper shreds, almonds, cranberry, and rose. So this should be good. Let's take a look. All right, so the next thing that we have here is the tea that I ordered. It's the Valentine's tea. On the back, there's the instructions on how to brew it. You'll want a loose teeth infuser if you don't already have one, which I believe she does have some on her site. You can also get them some other places too. So this is called Sweet and Tart. It has chamomile, hibiscus, rose, and strawberry. You can see the little pieces of strawberries in there even. So it should be really good. I'm excited to try that. So. Stay tuned, we'll do a tea making video and some drinking tea as well. Are you hiding back there? All right, so next, we've got these cute little Valentine's hearts charms, like toys. Let's take a look. All right, so just cute little hearts to play with. What do you think, bud? some toys for you. What do you think? It's for you. And the other birds too. He's ready for some tea apparently. You're gonna chew on that bag. We haven't even made it yet. And we've got some more Valentine's toys. Some little hearts here. is for you. Yeah. Okay. And then here are the foraging boxes. And like she said in her note, they are filled with paper shreds, almonds, cranberry, and rose. So Jackie will love this because almonds are her favorite. So we'll definitely be playing with these later. Might have to get Jackie so she can check this out. All right. And last but not least, one of my favorite products. This is called Burbs. It's herbs for birds. Has a lot of great ingredients. You can pause the video here and check those out if you like. This is the six ounce bag. It was about $20 but it lasts a really long time. I haven't had to buy a bag of this in I don't know how long. So Archie just gets a sprinkle of this on his food. Not quite every day, but most days definitely he gets this on there. 
I'll put a little bit in the other birds' bowls too, but Archie is the one that likes it the best. So there's a lot of great health benefits to the herbs and things that are in here. So especially bee pollen has a lot of health benefits. So with bee pollen, it can prevent nutritional imbalance and deficiencies and accumulations of toxins in the body. It also helps strengthen the immune system and prevent disease. It is the richest food in nature. So definitely a great ingredient. It also has things like chamomile, which is great for birds that feather pluck because it's very calming for them. So it's great for Jackie. That's also why I like to get the tea with chamomile in it is because Jackie loves it and it just kind of helps to calm her because she can be a little anxious and stressed out. She's a feather picker. So I really like to give her chamomile and she loves to drink it. So we'll be making some of this tonight. Stay tuned. But yeah, overall some great products. Archie's over here playing with his little heart toy, having a fun time with that. And then I'm also going to give one of these to Jackie, so let's see what she does with it. Oh, and in the bottom of the box, there's this cute stamp that says there is always something to be thankful for, so that's really cute. You can definitely tell that she puts a lot of loving care into her products and everything she makes herself, so. Alright, so we've got Jackie here. And I'm just going to put an extra almond in here so she understands that there's things in there for her. Uh, there's almonds in there. Well, this is a heart. And Archie is throwing the hearts. I put an almond in here. Hey. Hey. She's going for it. And these foraging uh, toys, like the boxes are great because it keeps them busy and makes them work for their treats. Because like I've said before, in the wild, Birds don't just get a bowl of food given to them. They have to look around for their food and work for it. So this um, recreates that in your domestic environment for them. Do you want another heart toy? Well, you have to look in there for the rest of it, silly. There's more. What's in there? Okay. I'll grab the camera so you can see up close. So once she figures out all the goodies that are inside of it, I really won't need to help her this much with it. But her boxes are usually slightly different. They don't have that cute little pink paper on them, so. It just looks a little different. <gasps> What's in there? You can kind of see. There are, oh, okay. What else is in here? So I think it'll probably just take her a while to get it open. She's definitely almost got it. It'll just take a little while, I'm sure, but she'll get she'll get it open. And then Archie's over here just chilling.
He likes those little hearts. Do you want to play with a heart too? I think this is the closest they've been together and like not been trying to fight so this is definitely a good activity for them to get to be close to one another but kept busy so that they're not fighting so i'm very impressed miss jackie she wants some cuddles yeah you want some scratches all right well stay tuned and we're gonna go make some tea Oh, I almost forgot there was one more thing that I ordered in the box. It's this beautiful rainbow infinity sticker. There is their logo on it. But I just really love this sticker. I actually have one of these and I put it on my iPad and it looks awesome. And I just got a new laptop, so I'm thinking of putting this on there or maybe finding somewhere else to put it. But it's totally clear around the edges, so all you see are like the little colored areas on there. Very beautiful sticker. I love anything rainbow, so I really love this design. All right, so we are going to make some tea this evening. Are you ready? You wanna help? So right now I have some water boiling in a kettle. Now you could, you could just boil water by putting water in a mug and putting it in the microwave <laughs> for a while. Um, so yeah, you can totally do that too. I like to use a kettle, it's all personal preference. Very important when you do serve your bird avian tea to make sure that you let it cool so that I use, if I can put my finger in it and it doesn't burn my finger, that it's safe. Because you don't wanna burn their crop. That's the kettle going in the background. Um, because if you burn their crop by giving them something too hot, they're going to be very sick or it could potentially kill them. So definitely make sure that you're not giving them anything that's too hot. Are you ready to make some tea? So while the water is boiling, I'm going to grab my infuser and my scoop real quick. So I've got my infuser and then I've got my tea scoop as well. So we're just going to open up our tea here. Very excited to try it. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so amazing. I can't wait to try it. Archie! All right, so I'm going to take my infuser and open this up. I like to try to get a little bit of everything, so. Like, I definitely want this piece of strawberry in there. going to close up the infuser. A little piece of chamomile there. Seal that up. So once I put my water in here, I just set this in the mug and let it steep for a while. This says to steep for five to seven minutes. And once it's done steeping, you could actually take it back out of the infuser and dry it back out again and either reuse it or give it to your bird as like a treat or sprinkle it on their food if you want to reuse it. That'll make it go a lot farther. Alright, so our water is ready. 
But I'm going to move Archie to the other room so he doesn't get into it and burn himself. So we'll be right back. Alright, then just going to take our infuser and put it right in there. Very excited to try this. I think it's going to be really good. You can kind of see it changing colors in the water here. That pretty pink purple color. So we're going to let that go for about it says about five to seven minutes. I like my tea strong so I'm probably going to let it set for the um, the greater amount for that seven minutes. So we'll be right back. All right, well, as you can see, Jackie already got into the tea and she is absolutely loving it. Can I try some? She's like guzzling it down. You like that, huh? Or she really likes these parts too. guys thank you for watching our unboxing of our posh city pets package i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe so you can see more videos of ours and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it until then we'll see you next time